Hi. Now that you, I've removed the eye makeup, it's time to cleanse the rest of the skin. You can use these preconditioned facial cleansing cloths and just dip them in some warm water and start cleansing your face in an upward circular motion to open up the pores and remove the impurities. But if you're not traveling or camping or something and need the convenience of these, which they are very convenient, I just prefer to use my regular cleanser and just take a little bit like this, about the size of a pea, you don't need a lot, and start on a dry face in an upward, outward, circular motion. And you could add some water to get a little bit more, but this is a three-in-one cleanser and it has some um, little microbeads in it that help to exfoliate and everything else. This doesn't take the place of your bi-weekly mask, but this does help so that it makes your cleansing process a lot less. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water to this because I like a little bit of extra foam. And see, I can feel those little beads exfoliating. Now you want to leave circles for your eyes. Your eye is such a delicate area. You don't want to be tugging and pulling along that. And we've already cleansed that with an eye makeup remover. And then when we rinse with warm water, That'll be fine. Okay, now I'm going to take a little, a warm cloth, press it on my face just for a moment. And off comes the rest of my face, my eyebrows, my lips, my cheeks. And don't forget to include your neck in this process. Your neck is absolutely part of your face. And so the signs of aging will show here and on the top of your hands quicker than any other place. So don't forget to cleanse your neck as well. Now I think I've gotten all those little microbeads off. Feels pretty good. And you may not you may not be able to see it because I've been treating it for so long, but one of the ways that I'm able to maintain a clear blemish free complexion is that I do at this point use a little freshener. It's kind of like a final rinse. So you can take it, you don't need to shake it, and the one I use is the one for blemishes. And this one has some salicylic acid in it. But I, again, use one of these Johnson & Johnson cotton pads. And instead of a line like to remove the eye, maker, eye, eye makeup remover, I put this in here just in a circle about the size of a nickel. And then in the same upward, outward motion, the freshening step. Now this is not absolutely necessary because my three-in-one cleanser has a special freshener in it with fresh botanicals and stuff, but I have a, an, an added need with my blemish prone skin. So that's why I do this step. It also feels good if you like that, that final finishing rinse feeling. And again, leave the circles for your eyes. You don't need to do this in your eye area. Now see, even though I cleansed my skin, I was still able to get more of that off. Plus, I'm not at my sink usually, you know, with all the water that I'm rinsing off. So, if that grosses you out, just keep doing one until your face is clean. 
okay? And then we're going to get ready for the next step, which is the eye cream, the lip treatment, and the moisturizer for your skin.